Welcome to our today's do it yourself topic. Massive transformations tips on how to do extraordinary things in life. This is part one of 103 tips. For real validation through this topic, please focus only on the content and ignore my lacunas in pronunciation, tone, expression, accent, grammar, my looks, and even this video's background. For the content of this video, please ask. And if you need tips on any specific topic, please let me know. You can also claim your free session, which also includes a couple of mandatory pre-work designed to create your future blueprint of action. There is absolutely no string attached. And these sessions would be an area of personal and professional growth, relationships, moving on after setbacks, breakup, failure, startup and business success, and upscaling and also overcoming your personal and professional challenges. To avail, please email me on uh, given on any of our uh, websites, successandlimitedmantra.com and relationshipandhappiness.com. Now coming back to our topic, there are 103 massive transformation steps, tips and ways I'm going to share with you on how to do extraordinary things in life. This I wrote from what I learned from the greatest people I came across and it is not in order as I put it randomly as it came to my mind while writing and please create the sequential order as per uh, what suits you. This is part one and we'll be, we will cover points from 1 to 50. The first point, first identify what is that you want to accomplish which is giving you sleepless night with excitement. I mean identify your passions, your big dream. Then objectively examine your perceived impossible goal. Ask yourself, is it really impossible? Have any other people achieved this goal? If the answer is yes, then it is you who feels it is impossible. Or it is impossible for you as of now. We need to set both realistic and unrealistic goals. The unrealistic goals should be those which both thrills and scares you at the same time. We need both realistic achievable goals as well as big and seemingly insurmountable impossible goals to move forward. Because smaller goals build the momentum to create the velocity and power for you to take bigger risks and accomplish even larger objectives. Choose one goal you want to accomplish that is currently impossible for you. It can be anything that you truly desire. Take one small action forward at a time. Every action, even if it results into a failure, is an action forward. Define the parameters of your impossible goals. Be specific so you get clarity on what specific steps to take. Create your own path, but don't waste time on recreating the wheel. Use the learnings that is easily available. Understand that we will always have our own sets of limitations, constraints, complexities, hurdles, disappointments and ambiguities. But these should be the reasons to propel forward. Don't rush your result. It is important you build momentum and move forward. Slow and steady. Track and evaluate your progress. Think big, act small. How you start is very important. How do you climb, say Mount Everest? One step at a time. That is the only way to achieve something that seems impossible. But of course, the mandatory basic preparations, lots of practice and mastering the needed skills, knowledge and creating the right mindset has to be there before you attempt to take the first step into the unknown. There is no right or wrong step. Just take the next step. And if it is wrong, improvise and then take the next step again. Your first step has to be something that you can do yourself. After this, we need to be consistent with our actions, with our actions to maintain and gain momentum. Believe in yourself. Take massive amount of actions. That means lot of steps, lot of action. Analyze, analyze and analyze to find how you can improve and create more effective actions and processes. Take actions, then improvise, and then again take the corrected actions. 
impossible dreams happens when we do the essential and boring task every day meet and learn from other great and successful people and you will find that most of them who have made the impossible and unthinkable possible were once just people like me and you understand what these great people did how they overcame the obstacles many of them were rejected again and again yet they persevered and persistently pursued their dream challenge the norm and taken and the taken for granted processes when you choose a big dream and do something unique you will have to face your share of criticism and have to fight against popular beliefs all our big dreams have elements of creating big changes impacting masses changing and influencing lives of others for better if they, uh, they don't do any of these things then they're probably not that big for this you need to develop resilience through determined discipline master the basics if you're not very good at something but you must do it practice till you're mastered that skill to comfort level put an impressive amount of effort and give your hundred percent everything you can't do it all by yourself never feel bad about asking for help understand and use the power of team inspire others to work with you on your dreams you must follow the situational leadership principles that is take the lead when you have the best skill other time let the person or group most capable of handling it always assume that you don't know everything and that you need to learn never make excuses always accept complete responsibility for your decisions actions and life get rid of the urge to blame others when failures and mistakes happens as they will get feedback about your strengths and weaknesses and your areas of improvement understand that everyone has strengths never underestimate anyone empower and help others to succeed have very strong sets of personal values and follow them then risk yourself by stretching yourself let yourself fail because you're stepping into the zones of unknown and uncertain when you're priming for success you will make many mistakes and will also fail many many times don't let your mistakes and failures stick with you instead learn and apply the lessons then move on if you're failing while going for something that you're passionate about never give up it is okay to cry if after putting mammoth effort you still fail but then after some time get up and start again become comfortable with being uncomfortable and in discomfort forego short time gratifications in favor of long term gains do amazing things by breaking and taking actions in bite sized steps to achieve small small milestones while moving forward towards your big picture put your efforts into what you feel is meaningful prioritize and avoid what does not have value and are insignificant create a compelling vision and learn to communicate it powerfully to make others involved engaged and inspired celebrate the small wins and all your sustainable progress and growth rest of the points are in the second video part 2